got the drip, you need to come and see She switching up her hair, her makeup stay on free Got, got crooked on her hips, she never miss a beat She showing off her style with a new video this week Naomi, I'm a re, Naomi, I'm a re Naomi, I'm a re, Naomi, I'm a re Naomi got the drip, you need to come and see She showing off her style with a new video this week What's up y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's me and Marie, and I'm back with another video. So today I'm bringing you guys a very different video. I don't normally do makeup tutorials or makeup videos on my channel, period. But I decided to give you guys my everyday makeup routine, so if you guys would like to see how I do that, be sure to keep on watching. But don't forget to also subscribe and like this video. Let's get started. So I already did my brows off camera. Now I'm gonna go back in with my concealer. I use the Revolution concealer because it's cheap and it works very well. We finna pour the mold. Now I'm going in with my primer. I probably should have did this first, but I don't like priming my face without doing my eyebrows. I don't know, it makes everything weird. And obviously you're running out. So don't be me. So when you do the top, you wanna to go over like with a darker color just because you don't want to have like a halo eye i guess that's what they call it so now i'm going in with my tarte deep concealer and i don't put too much i just put a little bit and then i'm also using my morphe m167 Why can't I get my life together? Why? Why? Don't forget to go back and put some brow gel. Well, you don't have to, but if you have eyebrows like me, you probably want to. So now that we have our brow gel, we're gonna start with foundation. For foundation, I use Clinique in the color Golden, and then I also use Smashbox in the color 4.0, I assume. We're gonna go with that. I'm no! just, y'all, just trust me. I basically just put some like here. I can't find my brush, but here. And then I go back with Smashbox. Don't put too much because it's gonna be hard. Just a little taste, a little taste, taste. Cool. And if you need more, go back and add it as you need it. You never wanna add a lot and then you just be messed up in the end. It's like. Ugh. But now I go back with this is a Real Techniques brush. I'm assuming Real Techniques 200. I don't know, but um, we're gonna use this brush and we're going to put the foundation all over that face. Next, I'm gonna spray my face with this rose water. Rose water. I don't know what it exactly it does, but it makes my face feel refreshed. So that's why we're gonna do that. Now I'm gonna go back in with my Revolution Concealer in the color 12, and we're going to go conceal. I don't do any dark contouring. I'm just, that's not me. So now we're gonna go into this um, Juvia's Place palette. It's a blush palette. And we're just gonna do a little contour blush. Well, actually I'm lying. I use my Morphe for the contour. 
my Morphe Bronzor for the contour. And then I use this for the blush. But actually, we're gonna do this one first. So I am using this one in the color Showmance, aka Romance, Showmance, Show Romance. That's what I meant. And I meant what I said. All right, and then I'm also gonna be using my Morphe M143 brush. You put a little bit, you wipe a little bit off. All right, cool. Now, we're gonna go in to this palette, the blush palette. I'm gonna just use this BH Cosmetics 3 brush and I don't know what color I wanna do. I think I wanna do like Toby mixed with Neo, which is like this orange and brown. After I always do that, I always go back with powder foundation over just to like, tone it down a little bit. So I'm gonna be using my Purr powder foundation in the color Hazelnut. And we're just gonna go on top of that. Really just go all over your face. Lancome Translucent Powder. I actually started liking this one a whole bunch. I'm gonna be using this, I guess it's like a powder setting powder sponge so like it doesn't absorb everything and like it's really soft by real techniques All right, time's up. So now I'm switching to a different powder foundation. I like the Studio Mac Fix. And currently, baby is not doing so well. I dropped it. So we're just gonna make it work. <laughs> All right, so now you're gonna go back and put the powder foundation. You wanna erase the line of demarcation. Now I'm gonna go back in and spray some more rose water on my face. All right, now I'm gonna go back in with my Purr powder foundation again. Cause you wanna make sure everything is blended. I also like to just go back and recarve out my brows. Cause as we did set them, they could not be as crispy. And yes, eyebrows are sisters, but they are not twins. Know that, because I can already tell one of my brows is not gonna cooperate. So this is what you should look like. Now we're gonna do highlighter. I'm gonna use a combination of what's in here and then what's right here, just because this one can be a little too much. And also, this is the MAC highlighter in the style of Darling. Ooh. Now we're gonna go in with Morphe setting spray. This is my absolute favorite. We're gonna do these, I'm gonna wear these. And we're gonna do this off camera because I suck at putting lashes on camera. You also cannot forget about lips. So I'm using my NYX Brown Lip Liner. Then I'm gonna go back in with a um, ColourPop lipstick and it's gonna be in Parker and Cookie. If you don't know the meaning, how could you say the word love? Oh no, if you really don't mean it right 
So that's going to be all for the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure to comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. We'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.